Sorry that there is not a live raid in this episode, but anyway, we do have three awesome attacks, so I hope you guys enjoy those. And as always, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back. So this attack here was pretty simple. Found a Town Hall 8. So this is going to be really easy to take out. All those air defenses are bunched into the middle. So just putting a dragon on that lab right there. Going to put, I think, two on the camps maybe, or do I just go ahead and spread them out? Uh, so I put one on the camp over there. All right, so yeah, I just go in. Once I see that I have a clear path, I put all my dragons down, including my clan castle drag, and we're going to go ahead and rage into this first air defense. And then once they get in range of the second line of defenses, I'm going to go ahead and rage each side. So I kind of went with the triangle rage, like he had the triangle air defenses. So we are able to take him out pretty easily and wrap up this three-star victory. You can see I'm only going to lose like three dragons, I think, maybe four. So they're just rolling through this base right now. And the Teslas are really the only thing left that could stop me, maybe. I don't know, my dragons would have to go all the way around the base and just get sniped by them the whole time. Three, four, five, six. So we have six dragons up. We lost four, and I think that's all we lose the entire raid. I saw my Barb King. I don't think I used him on this attack, though, because I didn't need to. It's not like I wanted to speed up the raid or anything, and there's no sense in letting him be damaged. There is a building all the way over here, though, that my dragons had to go and get, but after that, 20 trophies, three star. I wouldn't have... Yeah, I probably wouldn't have gone for it if it was like a 15 trophy base or whatever. But 20 trophies, definitely worth using 11 dragons, 3 raid spells. So on this attack here, it's a Town Hall 10, but all of his air defenses were all the way to the right. His expos were up, which I typically try to avoid, and I also try to avoid level 2 infernos. But since I wouldn't have to contend with any of his air defenses, I thought this was an okay base to take. I'm going to kind of pick off a lot of percentage here at the top before I start my attack. So again, using those minions, I was out looking for snipes again, but just finding some bases I can take despite not having two more dragons. So we're working on this base. I've collected 8%. Going to go with a drag and some more mins over here. And then once those are, once these buildings on the left are down, we're going to go in with the rest of our dragons and we're going to try to two star this base. All right, so 15%, that archer tower is down. So this one minion can pick off that gold mine for us, which is great. So now that we're starting to get shot up in the middle, I'm going to put the rest of my drags down. I'm going to raise them as soon as they get in range of this inferno. So there they go. They're also in range of that expo, which was a main concern for me. So they're staying together really well, actually. I got five together, one straight off to the side. But we're working in the middle. Put that one rage spell down. They're all going to sit on that expo, then head towards the town hall. Pick up that one star for me. And then it's just a matter of getting two, which is not difficult at all. So 38%. Got a lot of minions available. So just trying to pick up some easy percentage points. Um, this one gold mine at the bottom caused me some issues. I wasn't quite able to get it with one minion. I kept testing to see if it was out of range, but unfortunately for me, it was not. So where do I go with my troops next? Right now, I'm just trying to think of where I want to go because I want to obviously avoid those air defenses at the bottom, but I still have my Barbarian King as well, so he can do a bit of damage, pick up some buildings for me. So where am I going to go ahead and go? I Yeah, I tried to pick off that building at the bottom, but it wasn't out of range. So I think I put one more minion on it maybe. I don't know. All right, so over here I'm going to go ahead and put my Barb King down, put a minion, test that camp, but it's not going to be able to get it. My King is going to be able to pick up a lot of buildings over here because he's out of range of those cannons. I put two minions down on that mine just to make sure I could take it out. And then I weakened that one building with my minions, but we already picked up the 50 and got the not-so-difficult 2-star. Alright, so on this attack, I was originally going to go for the 1-star. I saw this town hall was out. I was like, you know what? Free trophies. We're just going to snipe it so I can get some elixir. So that's what I do in between my attacks. I look for snipes because I do get low on elixir, and with that 100,000 loot bonus, that really does help. But then I started looking at this base, and it was worth 30, so I was like, you know what, if I can pick up the 2-star 
that'd be really good because then that's an additional 10 trophies that's when I go for a raid I look for a guaranteed eight trophies that way and maybe risk getting more so I'll go for like I don't know a 24 or something if I know I can get the one star but anyway up here I put a drag down I'm gonna put that raid spell down kind of get it into that archer tower put my minions on the right in a little bit soon but it's okay they're able to take out those buildings anyway uh, my dragon's gonna do a bit of work. He did get that builder's hut. Unfortunately, did not get the wizard tower, but that's all right. So over here on the left side now, I'm gonna do something kind of similar. I'm gonna put my dragon in. I'm gonna put one down at the bottom as well, though. That way, I can cover both areas and get some of these buildings out of the way. I'm gonna wait till they kind of move in, and then on the right side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Two dragons down. I only have six minions left, but I do have a fair amount of dragons. I came into this attack with a. I normally rock ten, but since I was looking for snipes, I had some minions as well. All right, so at the top, we're kind of working with my clan castle drag. I put one minion down just to kind of take out some of the buildings while the other drag, while my clan castle dragon is being a meat shield. So we're at 38%, putting my another dragon down at the bottom to kind of work in this base since that air defense is down. And we should be able to pick up some good percentage there. 30 seconds left in this replay. The clan castle is officially lured though, so I'm going to put this dragon down, put a dragon up at top, spread my minions out, and kind of hope for the best. So 40%, 49, we are going to get the 50 once this cannon drops. Um, putting in some more minions, hopefully get some of that elixir, and we were actually able to grab some of that as well. So this was an extremely successful raid. Grabbed almost fifty thousand elixir, but with the bonus we grabbed over well we grabbed a total of one forty six. So that was a pretty good attack there.